So, just wanted to do a quick little video for people that can't afford a gaming PC that very much want one, uh, and you want to do very little, or as little as possible, to have a gaming PC, and looks might not be your top priority at the time. So, I've come up with this solution, and this is basically uh, a refurbished PC that you would probably see in a school or... Uh, or an office. They were sold like crazy back in, I want to say, 2010, which I assume this is when it should be. So anyway, so we'll just take a quick little look. So it's an HP 8300 with an Intel quad core, and it runs at 3.2 gigahertz, and it has a DVD drive. It also has um, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gigabytes of hard drive, and so first let's just look at the difference so this is my budget cpu that i use in my 550 fifty dollar build and this is the processor that it comes with they're they're very very similar right here it starts to break break away because of the age but the gaming 66 68 it's it's very very close this is a very good processor it's four core four thread so totally fine now the next question is, can you use this case with a graphics card? And just looking at the back, we can see that there is a spot for the graphics card. Now next is I went down to the pictures to see if anyone opened it. Thankfully this guy did. So if we look, we can see that it has a PCI slot for a graphics card. I believe it has a 240 hertz, or 240 watt, yeah, right here. And he also recommends using the 1050 Ti. I did think, about if you could upgrade the power supply in here but i don't think you can unless you swap out the case so first if we are using this case that it comes with and you're using their two fours of their ram let's just let's just do what this guy did because he did it for a budget now first i was looking at the 1050 just regular uh two gigabyte which was very very cheap very very affordable but it won't get top graphics and will run more like a little bit worse than Xbox One. So you want at least four gigabytes and you want the 250 Ti. So I found this one. It's a, it's a used and very good condition for 165. The PC is 186, which comes to a total of $351. So we'll say 350. Now, this is highly recommended if you're on a budget and you just want something to game right out of the box it says it comes with wi-fi but i don't trust that so you would have to buy a wi-fi adapter stick which is an extra 10 bucks so if you're going with this build this is the cheaper of the two coming out to 351 dollars american so let's say you want something a little bit more powerful for less money so let's save that for later we are going to move this to the cart and we're going to go with the RX 570 4GB Overclock Edition, which is a hidden gem. It is absolutely amazing. Now, just so for safe measure, I would choose this one, but it's out of stock, just in case you guys look. But uh, we're going to go with this one. And this comes out... So this is everything that you would need. This is the case, better gaming case, uh, the better graphics card, the better power supply. You would just take everything out of this PC and put it into your new one, and then be able to run it with 500 watt with no problem. And it comes out to 410. So, if you want the cheaper route, you do the other one. If you want the more expensive route, that's gonna last you a little bit longer because this RX 570, here we can do it right now. RX 570 versus 1050 Ti. Go over to user benchmark, and here we are. Oh, there we are. So the 1050 Ti is perfectly fine. You're going to get just as good graphics, if not better, from the Xbox One, especially with the 4 gigabyte. But the RX 570, this one, is just an absolute beast for the price. It is actually cheaper to go with this one. So if you do want a gaming computer that is going to last, like if we look at this, it doesn't look half bad. It does suck that it doesn't have any any exposure but the power supply is going to fit it is absolutely super clean super super clean 
uh, yeah, like this, it looks like it would be a nice clean build, and you can still use RGB lights and would still come out the top. So if that's what you're into and you really just want some color showing, this thing is absolutely great case, especially for $31. You're not going to find anything better. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, comment below if you have any questions, but definitely this is a cheaper way to build something. I have my other one for $550 for with a 1060, but maybe you don't have that kind of money. This, These two alternatives are definitely a very good thing to look at.